Hi, this is Nick Barrow at thesnookerjim.com doing a dartfish analysis of Terry who came over from Canada for a week and this is our final day's training together. We are um, going to have a look at cue action, delivery, how the hand is behaving on the cue, whether it's applying any unwanted forces to the cue and really looking at consistency and quality of delivery. So, what do we have here on the delivery? Yeah, so I think that was slightly slow motion. Now, if we just rewind that to the beginning, uh, let's go say quarter speed, we'll put a line there on the cue, make that a bit thinner. And let's see what actually happens on the follow through. See for any tension on the shoulders, if there's any tension on the shoulders developing. Yeah, well, the first thing I notice is that the head actually is lifting before the cue ball is struck. Let's just move that slightly so that we can see what the cue is doing. Now just watch the chin here, I think it tenses up and tightens before the backswing. Watch the chin. Oh, that's a bit of a grimace there as the backswing is made, which is a little bit concerning. And also the other thing that's happening is that if we go back to the cue ball address position f before backswing see look how the chin is grimacing there and the, uh, the cue is moving out to the right as the backswing is finishing see that there So it comes back straight, then comes out to the right. Then on the delivery, let's see what happens. I mean, comes out to the grip hand, comes out to the right. Head is lifting now. Let's just rewind that. Let's put that actually on the line of the shoulders there. See, mm. well, let's let's actually do it. Let's have another look. Let's measure something else. So let's go for the eyebrows. All right. So that's level with the eyebrows. Let's actually play the shot. Quarter speed delivery. Yeah. So the eyebrows are lifting about an inch or so. The head's the head is lifting about an inch, which is a huge amount for the head and then it's dropping a little bit and the cue's more or less coming back online but it's a little bit ragged compared to what it could be and the quality that you're really searching for. Have another look. So it, I think what's happening there is during the delivery, at the end of the delivery the hand hits the chest and maybe the, the chest pushes the hand out to the right slightly which is where you see that which is where you see the cue where are we you see that there, it's just at the end of the delivery, alright the cue comes back online here it's hitting the cue ball oh and then is it before or during or after the strike on the cue ball that the cue is now moving out to the right then it comes back 
and the head's moving a little bit. I think if the head was anchored, uh, this would happen less frequently. Anyhow, let's carry on and see what's happening to the other shots. Go back to normal speed now. Watch the grimace on the chin. And that's a very tight follow through with the hand. See the difference there is if you look at if we just go back let's go back here. Let's go quarter speed again. So you can see the chin is still, there's a bit of grimace going on there and it's quite tight. I think also the cue is, that's the maximum follow through on the cue there. And the cue actually, you're standing up before the white ball even reaches the line of the follow through mark of the cue. So let's see what happens here. Quarter speed again. Just compare the speed of the backswing. It's a little bit longer, a bit more deliberate, a bit more of a gear change at the end there. couple of inches more follow through, but more importantly just staying in position, having that discipline to stay in position after the shot is being played, which is something that has to happen. Otherwise you'll start standing up before the shot when pressure's on. So follow through is a couple of inches more, staying in position until the uh, Shots played, but also more importantly, I think if you look um, around here, things look generally more relaxed. So if you look here, there's it's almost ah, and the shoulders a little bit tight, and follow through, putting maybe the brakes on the arm to prevent a full follow through into the chest, possibly. You can't play consistently until the hand goes through into the chest consistently and stays there. If you watch Sean Murphy, brilliant example of that. Stephen Hendry as well at the moment. So we can move through this one. Let's go back to full speed. Look at the chin, much more relaxed here. Now, let's have a look at the same thing but from an angle. In fact, let's stop the video there as part one and then we can come on from this second view to part two.